The St. Louis Cardinals and the Cowboys officially open the 1964 NFL season under the lights at the Cotton Bowl. Dallas enjoys the distinction of scoring the season's first touchdown as Don Meredith spears Frank Clark with a six-pointer which gives the Cowboys the lead. In the second period, the Redbirds retaliate. Charlie Johnson throws, and Sonny Randall finds the handle for a 40-yard TD that puts St. Louis on top. Cowboy coach Tom Landry checks with his topside observers to find a flaw in the Cardinal defense. They spot a big one as defendable Don Perkins streaks through the St. Louis secondary for a lightning-fast 53-yard gain. Trailing 10 to 6, the Dallas defense, led by Big Bob Lilly, gives Joe Childress a rugged time. George Andre and Larry Stevens add a hand, and Childress is chucked for a five-yard loss. The Cowboys are down by seven in the final period, as injured quarterback Don Meredith checks the charts on the Cardinal defense. The information is passed along to John Roach, who pairs with Frank Clark for a big gain, but it's not enough to carry the Cowboys to victory and they drop their opener to the eventual second place finishing Cardinal. 